Hey, Grant Cardone here, New York Times bestselling author and a guy committed to love. Look, for much of my younger life and as a single man, I have searched or then searched and looked for love like a maniac driven by the desire to feel this thing called love. It wasn't until later in my life that I realized that love is not a feeling. I talk about that in this book, Sell or Be Sold, actually in chapter 13, where I talk about the biggest sale of my life and how sales and sales professionals and sales organizations have to use love to actually get what they want. It's that time of the year where everybody's interested in love right now. How do I get what I want, not just in business, but in all areas of my life? Look, the problem in my search for love early on in my life was not the manner in which I went about my search voraciously if that's a word, but the way in which I defined love and was looking for it. Look, I used to measure love based on what I felt with someone. You know what I mean? It's that, that unbelievable, intoxicating sensation, that compelling feeling where you go days without eating, maybe no sleep or very little, completely consumed by another human being. But with that comes a couple of problems. You become the effect of some sensation. Number two, the sensation fle is fleeting. It's impossible to maintain. And that electricity between two people doesn't always mean you're compatible. Today, with a bit more maturity uh, than a younger man than I was that was on the hunt, I know love is much more than just a feeling or a sensation or some fleeting compulsion. Look, love is important. Love is, is not limited to something you and I feel or experience. Love is an action. Love for me is something I do, not something I feel. Love is something I don't talk about. It's something I deliver every day. Also, love is not limited to just one person for me. Look, I love many people, my wife, whom I cherish, my kids who I die for, my older brother who died when I was 20, my sisters who are still alive, my mom, my dad, who formulated the early years of my life that aren't with me today, but have meant so much to me. My friends, my coworkers, the people that I admire, the people I can depend on, I love those people. I also love my business and my clients. I love my employees. I love the community I live in, my church. I love my products. I actually love my products, hard, substantial things that I love and want to care for. See, love isn't limited to people, and it's certainly not limited to a feeling. For me, love is what I do. For each of these people, these things that I admire and care for. Love for my wife means taking care of her and us. It means enduring our future, guaranteeing our happiness, spending time together, creating a life where we can grow older together, experience life together, and, and have something later in life. For my kids, it's similar, but it's very different. I have to make time for them. Even when it's uncomfortable, I have to have them see me and experience me and have real time with me. I need to set an example for them. See, I'm doing something, but I have to be productive at work so that when I am at home, I can be with them and not distracted. Same goes for my business. Look, if I love my business, if you love your business, your clients, your employees, you got to pay attention to them. Same for your community, your church, and your country. I hear so many people say, I love America. Yeah, but what did you do for it today? See, love is something you do. Love is an action. I see love much like I see courage. Courage means you take action, even though you're fearful. And love for me many times means I'm doing something that maybe I'm not comfortable with, that's inconvenient, and that requires effort. I find the more I practice and demonstrate love and do loving things, the more capacity I have to actually experience other people loving me and maybe admiring me. I challenge you to consider how you can express yourself today with what you do rather than what you say or what you purchase. Make a list maybe of the people you love, the things you love, and then next to that, what action, what action could you take with those people so you could express your love for them or that thing? Hey, this might be a sappy message for you. I know I'm always talking about business and money and success, but love is critical. It's vital. It's vital to your existence. Why have all the success if you're not going to have some love?